The 1800s, early 1900s, a couple Basque people came to the west of the United States because um, Basque people are hard workers. Um, mm -hmm. They started working in jobs that you don't need to speak English for. Okay. So, for example, sheep herding. Uh -huh. um, and then they would send money back home. Someone would come and be like, oh, you can make money over there. So they'd bring their brothers or their uncles or whatever. And then eventually they'll bring the women, but the women uh -huh. will come a lot later. Um, during the Civil War, um, obviously Franco won, so a lot of people, like my dad's age, came because you, you weren't even allowed to speak Basque over there. Yeah. You couldn't name your kids Basque names. So like my mother-in-law doesn't speak any Basque. She stayed over there. Her name's Maite, but she only speaks Spanish because um, of Franco. Um, so, right after the Civil War was over, especially in the 1960s and 70s, a lot of Basque men came over to the Boise, Oregon, uh, Nevada area, even Northern California, to do sheep herding. Okay. They don't need to know English, it's a very lonely job. Um, mm -hmm. And they did that for a long time until they started building up their own communities. They would have boarding houses, um, so in the winter they'd come down, and that's how the big Basque restaurants started, is the men would come down from the mountains, and the, the few women that were here like tended to be good cooks, and they'd make a lot of food for these men. And they'd have dances, they'd play um, highlight, uh, pala, okay. there's a fronton court right over here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, now we have a Basque mayor, we had a Basque secretary of state, now we're just everywhere. Um, <laughs> do you know why more in Boise than in any other area? No, I think it just happens just out of luck. Like there's a, there's yes. a population in San Francisco, but they are French Basque. Okay, so they're on the French side, but so it maybe they found here their place, their home. They yeah. either, they were adopted in this area better than in other places in yeah. the United States or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, and like yeah. the people, there um, people that were sheep herders ended up owning their own sheep company or okay. sort of farming. Yeah. So they're in the rural areas. Okay, and then some people were like, I don't want to have a farmer's life. I want to live in the city. So they started coming into Boise. And then more and more people. So we have like the Basque Center over there. People play mm -hmm. cards on Sunday nights. They play moves and those kind of things. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Um, so what is like your your parents were the ones who came here first, or were your grandparents or when? My when father um, came here in the 1970s, and my mom was born here, but her parents are from Guernica. They okay. they fled clever and hardworking to figure out how they're going to make the money. So Sorry. then. Let's say the generation after those first people came, come, they have it much easier because then they've got friends that are mm -hmm. here. And they, they can stay in their house until they figure out what they're going to do, okay. you know, things like that. And if they get homesick, they can all be together, mm -hmm. you know, have their own community as well. Okay. So I don't, but like, let's say like with the Syrian refugees and stuff, mm -hmm. that's a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. But they're having yeah. obviously a very difficult time, yes. you know, trying yes. to get into the country. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Um, yes. But I would say now. No, they don't. They, they used to. There used to be a racist they thing. They used to call um, Basque people Bascos. And now it's a term of endearment. But okay. people that are like 80 years old or so, they think it's, that it, that's racist. Um, people, people will say to me, like, oh, you terrorist. You bomb oh. things, you know, because of ETA. Mm -hmm. but, mm. Do you know when the community start here to be like, to have this uh, Boise Street? Basque, Basque well, Street this Basque block I think opened about 20 years ago, the way it is now. Oh really? Yeah, but the Basque Center I think has been around since the 1950s, early 1950s. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video and the story of the Basque community. And thank you so much for listening.